guys, welcome to the video. It's just another typical day in the life vlog. We got some cool stuff planned, but of course, you know, we start the day off with coffee, the best time of the day. And you get the Timbit, don't you? It's getting big on you, man. You lost some weight. Gotta bulk you up. Okay. Let's go. So pretty uh, jam-packed day today, lots of editing and like work to finish up. I'm actually doing two workouts today because I usually do uh, shoulders and legs like I showed you guys in my full week of training video. But I'm actually training with uh, Greg O'Gallagher tonight. He can put up a lot of weight on the overhead press. So, I mean, if we do that, it'll be quite interesting to see how that goes. And I think afterwards we're gonna go grab some food and I'll show you guys the whole workout. But uh, before that, I'm gonna go actually to fitness element and uh, hit some legs just to get the legs out of the way. Never skip leg day, guys. Never skip leg day. Do I? Eh? Uh, CPT is good, thanks. Hi, can I help you? Hi, can I get a, what size do you want? A medium double double, please. Can I get a medium <laughs> double double steep tea? Anything else? Um, a medium dark roast black. Okay. And a one honey dip timbit. One honey dip timbit, that's yeah, it? That's it. Four dollars, please. Yeah, thank you. you like black, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask for creatine today, guys. A lot of you guys actually get mad in the comments. I'm trolling the people at the uh, drive through but they need a little bit of fun sometimes. Thank you. There you go, dude. Thank you. Thanks, have a good day. That was like the first time that they've like not said, look at that to Ollie. Really? Most, yeah, most people don't even know what the hell it is. What it is, what is I mean, that? what my brother is. Smell it. You got it? Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. You know what's coming. There you go, holy. It's shark week here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He's just a simple guy, guys. He's just like honey, honey dip, honey dip, and that's it. Holy shit. He didn't one bite it, so he's not completely related to me. There you go. All done, so we're gonna head home now. I usually like to do a lot of uh, editing in the morning. I find myself very productive in the morning and late nights. Don't know why, that's just how it is. And then I'm gonna go for a walk. Usually I get my 10,000 steps, walk to Starbucks for more caffeine, and then off to the gym. So that is the upcoming plan. Okay, so it is just going on noon right now. I just did a couple of hours of editing. It's actually kind of difficult because I'm starting to do the two videos a week every Thursday and Sunday and it's kicking my ass right now for the first couple of months. As long as I get into a routine, eventually it'll just get a little bit better. But a lot of you guys have also been asking me what kind of uh, software I use to edit my videos and also what camera I use to vlog. I actually use Final Cut Pro. I'm actually quite the newbie to all this stuff. I just use the basic kit lens on the Canon M50. I use autofocus. I'm just completely new to the whole thing, uh, a Joby um, tripod and then a Rode mic. I started YouTube with like an iPhone guys. So I mean, if you're ever looking to get into YouTube and you feel like you need to have all this like fancy equipment, you don't at all. That's just like an excuse for you to hold it off. So if you're looking to do a channel, just get started with your iPhone, start pumping out some videos. Over time, you'll get better at it. You'll need to upgrade. So gonna wrap this up now and then we're ready to go for a walk. You ready to go for a walk? Yeah, man, let's go. Yeah, when's the last time you got 10,000 steps? Yeah, I gotta check my phone. I have no idea, man. <laughs> Probably yeah. like, does dancing count? That should that counts. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. I hope. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll go for a walk. Yeah. Let's go. So went to this little local uh, coffee shop called called Starbucks, and I got a coconut milk latte. I usually just get a typical black coffee, but felt like having something a little bit different today. I wanted to spice it up. This is also my pre-workout meal. Um, so for the coconut milk latte, grande is 130 calories. So I think it's actually a lot less than even the skim milk latte. So that's a little side note for you there. Um, despite the fact that it's $6, it is really good. So we're gonna drink this now, head home. So it's about 3,300 steps back home, and then we're gonna be off to the gym to do some legs. Okay, so I'm doing legs right now. So I actually hurt my elbow, don't really know how, but when I go to squat, and I have the barbell here and then I kind of unrack it, I get this like crazy, like crazy ass pain. So I've been off squats for a couple weeks now, which kind of sucks. So I've just been doing some other like kind of like uh, volume work, like lunges and stuff in the meantime while I treat this elbow. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then we're gonna go to post workout meal. Don't know what yet, but it's gonna be good. So one thing I do with the Romanian deadlifts, I also do with rows. Actually with any sort of compound movement with the barbell, you wanna grab the bar as tight as you possibly can. It'll make it actually feel a lot easier and lighter for you. That's just a quick little tip.
So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how I track my workouts. So I don't use any special app for it. I just use the notes on my phone. Um, if you wanna look here, so I usually have like Sunday, Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday. Those are the days I work out. Um, as you guys can see, like, you'll see like W1, W2, W3. That just means week one, week two, week three. So I do the three week block, like I mentioned in one of my videos. Then I just follow that. And then once I finish one block, I'll then email it to myself and just keep on repeating that process. So you don't need any like fancy apps, just whatever you want to use to keep accountable to like the weights that you lift is the best thing. Ooh, okay, legs done, starving. Want to get some sushi? Yeah, let's get some sushi. Yeah. yeah, let's get some Japanese food. Cool. Wow. Okay, so we got the post-workout sushi here. I got two tuna rolls and a California roll. Um, good quality protein, uh, fast digesting carbs, uh, so nothing too heavy, very low in fat, which I like after a workout. Um, so when I track my food when eating out, like this place does not offer macros, and if it did at a Japanese restaurant, it's just kind of weird. But I don't stress about it, you can make it work. So what I do is I just go on my fitness pal, and I just search up, because I have a California roll here, I just search up generic California roll and it will come up here as 255 calories, so I just implement that in. I don't second guess it, just implement it in. Once it's in, it's in. And then I have two tuna rolls here, so then again, I'm just gonna click it, tuna roll, type it in. One roll is 200 calories, looks about right, because virtually no fat in it. So I'll just add two rolls, and there we go. So this meal is 655 calories. It could be right, could be wrong. Don't really care, I'm gonna enjoy it. So I mean, it's very easy to track stuff like this because there's just like not many ingredients but once you get into like the rolls like the dynamite like avocado like sriracha orgy rolls that's when you kind of get in trouble because it's like very hard to like account for all those ingredients so just stick with the basics especially like no matter where you go like you get a steak get a baked potato kind of just look at everything you can eyeball it if you've been doing it for a long time so it's just very very simple guys you like wasabi yeah man. yo wasabi is so good all right i've never actually had wasabi but a lot of people like dip the wasabi in the soy sauce you just have it one bite? Like, how do you even eat it? Just You're one supposed bite? to put all of it in your mouth like a Hershey kiss. Is this like a kind of before you have the sushi? Yeah. Oh. It's hot, man. Yeah, man. It's a little bit spicy. I'm just gonna get I'm taking the water. <laughs> Wait, do you feel it in your nose? Woo! Oh yeah, I'm ready for the shoulder workout tonight. Ugh. Ugh. I can ditch the caffeine now. Just go straight wasabi before a gym session. That's the ultimate pre-workout, guys. <laughs> So just left Bulldog Nutrition in Markham. Um, so I just went for the protein shake. So I usually just do the Will Tennyson shake. It was just hold the protein and just do straight up frozen yogurt. I like it, healthy, simple, tastes good. Uh, only thing is they don't give you spoons, so you still use the straw. So we're gonna head downtown now for the shoulder workout. I'll see you guys shortly. What's going Yo, on, man? How hey, are you? Good to, you? good to meet you. Good, good. good. Come on in. All right, so Kino Octane uh, taste test. I've never had it before. Strawberry Mark. Yeah, it's Strawberry it's Mark. It's best with sparkling water. So I didn't even know you had flat water. This is this is my favorite flavor by far. It's got a kick to it. Oh, it's, nice. it's got a really nice kick to it, eh? This, man. Like this one just gets me. Damn. It tastes like clean too. Yeah, really, really All clean. Natural, right? So this is just this is just mm. 150 milligrams of caffeine. Mm -hmm. It's not a, you're not gonna get that crazy boost. So we're at the gym right now, we're at Good Life. We're gonna do shoulders, arms, and if you don't, we have to do some weighted pull-ups. And some weighted pull-ups, so this will be fun, man. Let's see who can outlift too. You have to 
so do it. This yeah. guy's blowing up. So we're gonna do so three sets RPT overhead press. But we're gonna take a page out of my new program. Yeah. So we're gonna do some volume on the Bradford press, get the shoulders pumped, some pull-ups with some sternums, and then we're gonna crush your arms, finish off with laterals. It's gonna blow up your shoulders and arms. All right, let's do it. So reverse pyramid training is like you start with your heaviest set first. We're gonna go in the four to six rep range, and then every set you drop the weight, and then add a mount of reps. Okay, so we just did our few warm-up sets. We did five reps, three reps, and one rep. Then we're gonna get into our top set of four to six reps and keep on going down from there. So we hit set one, five strong reps. We're going down about 10, 15%. I'm gonna go set two, six to eight. I got 160, he's doing 170. So this set, you don't wanna go too close to the Set, 8 to 10. Eight we got 160 on the bar. 160. 160. Gonna get 10 reps. Good numbers. Good One of the keys we're doing in phase three of my new program is adding in a lot of extra volume. Um, so more of that shrink wrap effect. So one of the cool upsides for the shoulders is the Bradford press. You come right above the head, just before the triceps take over, right above the head, behind the head, back and forth. It's also good for shoulder mobility. Okay, so the shoulder press and Bradford press are all done. So now we're going to go on to the second compound movement for the back. We're going to do the weight of pull -ups. the f now physique. Yeah. <laughs> you already have it, but yeah. we're going to make it even better. So we're doing two <laughs> sets, four to six, six to eight? Yeah. Two sets, four to six. Four to six, four six to eight. eight. Yeah, there we go. Now we're just going to go into some direct arm training, starting off with some biceps, doing the preacher curl, reverse pyramid training, heavy you step first, gradually work your weight down, increase the reps, the same as before. So a lot, a lot of bicep movements, typically the last range is easy, but because it's not a machine, there's a lot of tension here, so milk out that top set, and we're going to do an extra 10, just nice. Not halfway, just kind of right here. So 10 full and then 10. 10, just like that three top, two, three inches, you know? Sounds painful. Yeah. Okay, so now we're moving on to the lateral delts of the shoulder. So we're doing four sets of 10 every single set. We're actually gonna go up in weight instead of down this time. And then the last set, we're going to do a rest pause. So you finish the set, rest like five to ten seconds, and continue doing something. We'll do, yeah, we'll do like three mini sets of four. Three four, mini sets four. of four, and just completely wreck the shoulders. This is the money set. We did a few nice build ups. The shoulders are ready to go. We're going all out 12, 10 seconds rest, four, four, four. It's going to get that maximum muscle fiber improvement. This is what's going to build those big cap delts. Most people were silent. I suppose we all thought that. One way or another. Okay, so that's shoulder workout for the year, actually. Yeah, that's gonna, that's, those gains are going to manifest for the next <laughs> six months. <laughs> So sometimes with the intense reverse pyramid training, it takes a lot out of you um, from a neural standpoint. It takes a lot of central nervous system activation. So as we get through this workout, we're gonna pick our punches. The triceps, we're gonna start light, hit 12 reps, go a bit heavier, 12, as that last set is all out. So it helps preserve that, that neural system. Yeah. And this is the last uh, exercise of the workout. Last exercise of the workout. Okay guys, so workout is complete and now we're gonna go break our fast. So the shoulders are fried, back is fried, arms are fried. We're gonna go get some steak, right? We're gonna do... Not Chipotle for once, right? We're gonna mix up, we're gonna go a nice spot here on King Street, get some steak, some potato trio, 
and maybe even a chicken club sandwich. You haven't had a thing to eat yet, right? Yeah, but I woke up at 12, it's about six o'clock, so okay. I had the octane and aminos really blunt my appetite. I might have a little Rice Krispie Square right now. All right, yeah, so uh, see so you guys in the restaurant. Yeah. All right, food is here. We got a couple of steaks all around with some potatoes on the side. 10 ounce uh, flat iron steak, lean cut of protein. Uh, sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, yams, a bunch of good stuff. So a nice meal to break uh, the fast with uh, and follow up the workout with. Okay, so we are in the uh, Kino Condo, we call it? The Kino, the Kino this Condo. Is the Kino Condo. Kino Condo, drinking some Kino collagen protein. It's actually sick. I've never actually Thank had you. hot Thank protein you. before, so Thank it's. You. Good job on that one. Yeah, I'll send you the money yeah. after. Yeah, so really good. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good workout, um, really good dinner. A lot of fun meeting Greg, cool guy. Um, nice to meet another guy doing the same thing in Toronto. We have something that... Yeah, there's something coming, Something man. coming. Something coming. You know, it might be too much for you guys to handle. I don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> so I had a really good workout and dinner with Greg. Really nice meeting him. It's also really cool to be able to hang out with someone who's better than you at what you do and has been doing what you've been doing for a long period of time. Back in the day when like I was in high school, I would avoid like even trying out for sports teams because I knew there were certain kids that were better than me at the sport. So instead of just going and like being myself and like showing what I can do, I just wouldn't even show up. Being in an environment with people that are better than you is just the best place that you can be. Being the underdog is the best thing because it just forces you to be better. So if you're someone who's like good starting the gym and you're like really intimidated to actually go to the gym, just go, watch people, ask questions, learn, it'll push you to be better. So that's gonna wrap up this video guys. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one.